lubrication, which is castor oil. Notice how the entire engine is turning with the propeller. The pilot in the cockpit has a fuel and air lever. He adjusts the mixture to run the engine at various speeds, full power being about 1,200 revolutions per minute. This rotary engine you are able to throttle to a degree. Some of the rotaries had no throttle on them at all. This one does. Let's see if we can get her to crank up. 80 horsepower, the Rhone rotary on a 1913 French Cadrone G3. Once this engine starts, you'll hear the engine cutting on and off. That is intentional. The pilot has a UK button, the kill switch, on the control stick. See has got life in there. <laughs> Flying the rotary engines, especially on landing. They run the engine wide open and just cut the ignition on and off to control the speed. Because throttling, adjusting the fuel in the air can be a little bit temperamental. Yeah. Sound and a sight you don't get to hear much anymore. The rotary engine was used throughout World War I, developed around 1907, 1908, used extensively through World War I, by which time it became obsolete. There she goes. Notice the wing runners out there to help steer the airplane. And we might get a nice little flight down the runway with the Cedrone G3 today. Wow. That is awesome. Yes, yes. That's how cool we're